Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. Before we get started, I'm going to shamelessly plug the Whisker Assassin. So I will carefully place him up here and down there. So if you are interested in a more comprehensive approach to wet shaving content, quite similar to the way I do things, head on over there and check out what Whisker Assassin is all about. Okay, let's talk about the Chosen 12. The Chosen 1 for the month of August. The theme for August was a tropical scent, and the coin toss winner for this one was Ariana and Evans' St. Bart's. It won the coin toss against Sterling Boat Drinks, which made me very upset, but hey, I'll get over it. Here it is right here. Ariana and Evans' St. Bart's. And just look at the beautiful label on that. It kind of reminds me of Miami Vice. Definitely Miami. So this soap is an older one. This is in the Kaizen 1 base. If you were to get this soap now, it would be in Kaizen 2E and it would have a much different label because for some reason Peter Charkalis likes to fix things that are not broken. But whatever, I'll digress before I get into too much trouble. Hey, 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 don't talk like that, man. You're gonna hurt his feelings. Don't mind him, Elvis. In any case, let's talk about Kaizen 1. We got some great stuff in Kaizen 1 soap base. Beef tallow, goat's milk, coconut butter, shea butter, cocoa butter, glycerin, manteca, aloe juice, avocado oil, apricot kernel seed oil, and lanolin. So everything but the kitchen sink in the Kaizen 1 soap base. And the scent on this is inspired by Creed Virgin Island Water. And we'll talk about the exact scent more during the shave. A Kaizen 2E current production version of this is going to run you about $19.95 at most retailers. So that's going to be the chosen one for the month of August. Ariana and Evans, St. Bart's. Now Sterling still wins because I decided to pair this one with Sterling Island Man. And just look at that indigo blue juice. Isn't that fascinating? I love this stuff. The uh, scent on this is Sterling's own interpretation of Creed Virgin Island water. And we'll talk about how it compares after the shave. Next up we've got the razor, Mula Roca. You're going to be seeing this a few more times before we move on to other razors. This is 316 stainless steel made in Germany and I've been having a lot of great shaves with it lately. It's a little more aggressive than what I prefer, but I've adjusted uh, pretty well to it. And I think we're going to pair it today with a Euro Max blade. I've never tried one of these before, so we're going to try it here today. And the brush is going to be from Trotter Handcrafts. And this is just a plain old white one I got from the Shave Supply. 26 millimeter. I think his knots are Fanchurian's T1. I think, if I'm wrong, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. But this is a fantastic brush, and I, uh, I get what all the fuss is about. There's an elegant simplicity to, to the Trotter Handcrafts brushes that uh, is kind of refreshing in the, uh, in the space where you've got just so many different artisans and brush makers to deal with. This guy definitely knows what he's doing. Okay, that's the brush. Let's do a shave.
Okay, got a wet face, and let's apply the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ice Tube Pre-Shave to about, oh, let's call it 40 hours. So just a, just a touch south of two days. Okay, that should be plenty. With the hands just slightly. Work it in. Work it into the face. And I am getting a menthol kick right away. It's a good one too, it's not playing around. Okay. Now, we have Ariana and Evans St. Bart's lathered into the Hendrix Classics and Company stainless steel bowl. And the reason the lathering process took so long is because this is a really high density knot and I wasn't trying to have the knot ingest all my lather. I'm actually getting ready to do a tutorial video on uh, if you have a high density knot and you're kind of struggling with making a lather, I'm getting ready to do a video on things you can do about that, so stay tuned for that one. And let's smell it. I'm going to call this one a perfectly average 3 out of 5 on the sniffometer. It's good stuff though, it's really good. I said that I was disappointed that Sterling Boat Drinks didn't make the cut, but regardless, I love St. Bart's. St. Bart's is an amazing scent. Really incredible stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. The amount of water that I put into the bowl during the initial lathering process, that's not the be-all, end-all. That's just the baseline to get something that's, that's workable, that, that is a pass. And then if I feel like I can get away with more water, then I'll add water later because you can you can always add more water later, but you can't take it away. If you put too much water in, you either, you either have to start completely over, or you have to add more soap. Okay, I like this. Nice and creamy. Kaizen 1 is no joke. I'm going to have an unpopular opinion, but I think Kaizen 2 is completely unnecessary. I think Kaizen 1 was plenty good enough, and Peter Charkalis had nothing to prove at that point. I don't know why there's there's any need to to push the envelope, but that's just me. Let's activate the iPhone cheat sheet. And we have the Mula Roca with a Euro Max blade in it. First use, let's give it a try. We're gonna talk about the scent. <laughs> right away, that is like freaking butter. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay. Well, that turned out positive really freaking quick. Okay, Ariana and Evan St. Bart's, a.k.a. Creed Virgin Island Water. We've got bergamot, lime, mandarin, coconut, Indian jasmine, sweet hibiscus, ylang ylang, ginger, sugar cane, musk, sandalwood, and white rum. I almost butchered listing the uh, scent notes there. I, I caught myself. Oh, wow, this is nice. Um, so obviously, more than likely, you're not going to smell all of this. Like, you're not going to be able to pick out each individual note. That's that's not really a thing uh, that people can do. But for the most part, what I get out of this is I get a lot of coconut. I'm not sure how much citrus I get. I might get just a touch of like lime and mandarin. 
but it's so minute that it can be power of suggestion. Let's be real. What I get though is I get a lot of coconut, I get sugar cane, musk, and rum is mostly what I get out of it. It's a it's a coconutty, musky, sugary rum sort of scent. What a blade. That, I haven't been this impressed with a blade in a while. I have to pick up some more of those. Okay, let's... You know what? I'm going to wet the face again, which is not something I normally do. Add another layer of water. And then add some water to this and go for a second pass. Carefully. There we go. Whisker Assassin loves this scent. I think he's done a review on it before. So if you want his take on it, then head on over there to Whisker Assassin. A little more soap. But that's what I'm getting out of it is uh, sugary. It's not like sugary like candy. It's a really authentic smelling sugar. It literally smells like, there, there's a note that you get where it literally smells like you stuck your nose in a bag of sugar. Like, uh, Peter Charcalis is a lot of things. He's not stupid. Like, he knows how to blend uh, scents. And he knows how to make them smell really freaking good. I mean, to tell you the truth, I don't know if this is a pre-blend or if he made it himself, but either way, to nail a scent this good into his soap base, he definitely put a lot of work into it. Uh, but yeah, uh, coconut, sugar, musk, and rum. It's uh, not, a, not the booziest rum, it's sweeter. So if you are worried about it just being really boozy, no, not really. Okay, here we go. Cross the grain on the top of the face and uh, against the grain on the neck. This blade is unreal. I don't know why I never see people using it. Soap is unreal too, to be honest. Primary and residual slickness on this stuff is way more than enough. If you're a fan of blade buffing, you can pretty much do it until you're red in the face. Well, you won't get red in the face with this soap, but... This is definitely a soap where you can blade buff practically forever. So yeah, I gotta give credit where credit is due. The scent and the soap base is pretty freaking phenomenal. Especially for the hot balls of summer, like what we have here at Insert Lake Air Base in Turkey. Well, looks like I did nick myself right there, but that was my own fault. I was playing around in that area way too much. Okay, let's have a rinse. Slickness. That might be content to stop on its own. I know the Ellen Block report card will make it stop, so let's do the Shave Nation Ellen Block. 
on the face. Yeah, right there, of course. Ooh, a little bit of stinging right there. What did I do? Huh, interesting. Everywhere else is good to go, so evidently I had a little too much fun over here and right there. But my skin doesn't look irritated and I feel like a million bucks, so that's what counts. Let's do the aftershave. Okay, so the scent on Sterling Island Man is much more uh, citrusy and coconutty than the Ariana and Evan St. Bart's shaving soap. But I would take that with a grain of salt because yes, we're dealing with the same scent profile, but we're dealing with two different soap makers and we're comparing a soap from one artisan to an aftershave from another. So this is very apples and oranges. Oh man, I am so pissed that I didn't bring more Sterling aftershaves out here because Sterling aftershave splashes are, they, they just feel amazing on the face. Sterling knows how to make an aftershave. Okay, oh, smells good in here. <laughs> okay, my, uh, my final thoughts on Ariana and Evan's St. Bart's. If I could do the Chosen 12 all over again and I could hand pick them instead of doing a coin toss, would I pick this one? And I think right now the answer is yes. Definitely I would. It's got some, uh, some quality of life facets about it that Sterling Boat Drinks just doesn't have. In my opinion, it's a higher quality scent. And this is extremely subjective, but to me it just smells slightly better. Like I said, you know, initially I was kind of disappointed, but anymore, no. Ariana Nibbins St. Bart's is good to go, and I've got no regrets ending up with this one. You know, I think I might have nicked myself in a couple more places than I thought, because here's this one, then there's one over here, and then a couple right there. So I think what happened was I got cocky when I got excited about the blade, so make sure you're staying grounded when you're using uh, shaving gear that you love and enjoy because it can come back to bite you. All right, that'll be the video for today. I wanna to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, don't smoke crack and shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching. Here it is right here, Ariana and Evans, St. Bart's. Ariana and Evans, St. Bart's. Motherfucker! Well, I guess I can say the F word without any trouble, but I can't say St. Bart's without butchering it up.